This is the highest energy density battery the world has ever seen, period. To put it into context, the energy density of BYD's blade battery, which is in hundreds of different electric cars, is around 165 watt hours per kilogram, at least the existing generation is. This battery, 2,825 watt hours per kilogram. It's nearly 15 times as energy dense. And it has an efficiency of a staggering 99.7%. We have never seen anything like this ever before. But a lot of people are understandably very, very skeptical. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into groundbreaking new tech, a hybrid lithium hydrogen battery. This is not fake, it's actually real. It promises incredibly high energy density, if you've ever wondered what will power the cars or electric cars of the future, you won't want to miss this. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, hydrogen's not part of the battery. This is not a hydrogen powered car. This is a hybrid hydrogen lithium battery. And I actually think it makes a lot of sense for one key reason, which I'll talk about during the video. So what's this all about? Well, one, batteries are obviously the heart of modern technology. They're transforming the world. The battery revolution is going on right now, but we're looking at electric cars, plug-in hybrids, battery storage being deployed all over the world. The fastest pace we've ever seen in human history. Look how much money BYD are making. Look how much money the biggest battery company in the world, CATL, are making. Revenues go up, profits are going up, even when the prices of batteries are coming down. But in the future, what we're going to have, Tony Sieber says this, we have to be energy superpowers. We will have it be, become energy superpowers. Most countries around the world will have a, about 100% more energy than we need. We need to build out 200% renewable capacity. We've seen that that's what a grid needs because probably one or 2% of the time, we need that extra energy. But 98 to 99% of the time, we have all this extra electricity. What are we gonna do with it? A lot of countries plan on making hydrogen. What the hell do we do with all that extra hydrogen? This is what we do right? Well, this is the theory anyway. I'm curious to know how you guys think about this. Here's the issue though. One of the big challenges we're still facing for you know, aircraft, electric aircraft, for long range you, you know, trucking, for long range pickup trucks, towing, uh, for big RVs, one of the challenges is still range. Energy density is a factor. There's a constant struggle to pack more energy into a smaller space. Reduce charging time and maintain safety. And that's why scientists worldwide are still racing to discover the next big breakthrough. This could actually be it, I don't know. What exactly is a lithium, a hybrid lithium hydrogen battery? Well, traditional lithium ion batteries store energy using lithium ions, moving between the cathode and the anode. Hydrogen fuel cells, on the other hand, use hydrogen gas to produce electricity through a chemical reaction with oxygen. A hybrid battery combines elements of both approaches, which sounds crazy, but it's true, using lithium ion chemistry while also incorporating hydrogen storage. Here's a simple explanation. Number one, lithium component provides the familiar rechargeable aspect and good energy storage capabilities. Number two is your hydrogen element adds extra energy storage potential because hydrogen can store a lot of energy and a small amount of mass. Sounds like a a Toyota Mirai, like a, a hydrogen powered vehicle, right? That also has a battery, but it's a little bit different. In a typical lithium ion battery, you have an anode, often graphite or a lithium metal, a cathode made of lithium compounds and an electrolyte that allows ions to move. In the hybrid design, in the hybrid design, the system might include materials that can store hydrogen atoms or molecules along the, alongside the lithium. When the battery is charged, it stores energy in both the lithium chemistry and the hydrogen. When it's discharged, that energy is released as electricity to power a device or vehicle. So as you can see, it's very different to a hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicle. So what are the advantages versus just normal batteries? Well, number one, high energy density, combining lithium ion storage with hydrogen's high energy content potentially could result in electric cars or hybrid electric cars Really, to be honest, they're not really hybrids, to be fair. It's really just an electric car, which has a bizarre battery. But it could result in vehicles with more than a 1,000 miles of range. 
And you might be thinking, well, the hydrogen's expensive, but the price is predicted by many experts to come down enormously over the next 10 years. Now, does that mean it'd be good for use in our actual full hydrogen powered vehicles? Absolutely not. That wouldn't make sense for a variety of reasons. Now, point two is longer range. Some people just need huge range. Some people want to tow big things, they want a, a pickup truck, or they want to whatever vehicle it may be, they need to tow for long haul. This would be ideal. Now, number three, reduced weight. Hydrogen is extremely light compared to traditional battery materials. So if this technology proves viable and scalable, imagine an electric car that can drive significantly farther on a single charge or consume electronics that last days or weeks or even months before needing a recharge. On a larger scale, combining lithium hydrogen batteries with solar or wind, it could help power massive amounts of renewable energy, smoothing out supply and demand on the grid. Of course, of course, it's still vaporware at this point in time. I mean, it's not vaporware, but it's you know not far off it. This is still a developing technology. Researchers need to figure out how to produce these hybrid batteries cost-effectively, scale up. We're still many, many years away from that. And then ensure they remain safe and stable over thousands of charge and discharge cycles. <laughs> you can see we're pretty early on here in the process. There's also the question of infrastructure. Handling hydrogen safely requires specific equipment and procedures. Still, the potential benefits are huge, and many experts believe we'll see these hybrid hydrogen lithium battery systems become mainstream in the years ahead. I'm not so sure this is going to pay off, but it's still interesting. There you have it, guys. There's a peek into the future of energy storage. Hybrid lithium hydrogen batteries could be a game changer, or might not. What do you guys think? Here's the thing, I mean, offering higher energy density and longer ranges, that could be the crucial issue. But then, of course, you have advanced batteries, which are getting better and better and better, solid state batteries potentially as well, that could fill that gap. Who knows? Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think these hybrid batteries are the real deal? Or will another technology take the lead? Guys, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for your support and supporting the electric car revolution. And supporting myself, I think it feels like, it feels to me as though we're pushing this forward, we're getting somewhere. So I appreciate you guys and have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Well, this is kind of wild. I don't think anyone really saw this coming if this is actually true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Stellantis, beleaguered Stellantis. I'd say in trouble Stellantis, sales going down almost every quarter Stellantis. Well, they're saying they have a solid state battery that is almost about to come out.